Yeah. Would it make you uncomfortable to take those shades off? Eh. And why? And why? Because this this parlays into the accident that okay. you that you mentioned okay. earlier. Okay. So why don't you give them okay, some? Here, look, I'll, uh, look. We normally talk about things and then bring our guests on, but you're already here, so I'll just do it while Let's you're do here. Do the whole thing together. Okay. Our guest today is an internet persona known for his good looks and skills with scissors. Many of your favorite celebs have trusted him to cut their hair, which has been on full display on his YouTube series, Jeff's Barbershop. Some of you may know him as a member of the Vlog Squad. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Jeff Wittek. Yes. Been waiting for this one. Thank you. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Wittek? Wittek? You know what? After hearing you say it, I don't even know anymore. It (laughs) it sounds better when you say it. And I listened to the the clip with you and Casey. Thank you for that. That was very nice words from you guys. Yeah, Yeah, Casey's a big fan. Yeah, he likes the show yeah, a lot. yeah, and you guys, you know, I mean, I respect you guys a lot over here with everything. Do you're do doing you there. honestly? I mean, mix. honestly, do you, Jeff? Like half the times I watch clips from here, you're talking shit about me, and the other ones you're praising me. Half so it's the, like, yeah, right. <laughs> that's so many times. I've never we, talked about well, you. Well, there was only one time that you guys were like, "Oh yeah, his dope," and then the one time was like, "Fuck you, Jeff. I'm gonna beat the shit out of <laughs> oh, you when I see oh. you." Oh, cut. Was it because of the party? Podcast? Oh, maybe. Is that what it was? May, I, dude, I made eye contact with the camera on that clip. On the That's David, how you know I'm it's telling serious. David Dobrik to I also, I, I didn't say the one thing that I always say. Welcome back to Impulsive, the number one podcast in the world. Thank you guys for listening, watching, viewing, and subscribing. My energy's a little low today. Mike's fired up. Yeah. More George is George. We got Jeff here, as you already know. Pleasure to so, be here. So, yeah, yeah, man. I don't know what happened. I think that we had that little... That little it, it, what do you misunderstanding. want to call it? Was it? Yeah. I, I don't know. 100% misunderstanding. I, I mean, I wouldn't be here today... If if it wasn't, you know, I'm intimidated. Took a sip of the water, man. I'm, <laughs> I, just, I just rolled off a hospital bed. I'm not trying to roll around right now. You know, um, no, that was a complete misunderstanding. And we talked it out. We 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 addressed it offline, you know, man to man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is the best way to do that kind of yeah, thing. And, yeah. And uh, I I, th- I thought it was it was surprisingly like refreshing to just talk about something not on the internet. Mm-hmm. And, and and squash the beef or whatever it was without having to make videos about it. It was, yeah. it was, it was weird. I remember being like, oh, Jeff is we like did, an actual We did human. some FaceTimes. For context, if people are watching this and don't know what we're talking about, there was some comments made during- uh, Roll Logan, a clip. Log- can, we roll, can we roll it? We, don't, do we, we, don't, do, we, we would have to pull, we would have to we pull really it up. Roll clips on some comments show. made during Logan's Luau. Uh, David and, and, and Jeff as well made their way to the podcast set during the party and made some- unflattering comments <laughs> that we also joke around about sometimes. So it wasn't a huge deal, but I got a little too comfortable too quick. And I made a joke that was, you know, that Logan doesn't why like you, joking about no, that why stuff. Why don't you just say it? <laughs> <laughs> why don't you well, say it well, now well, that I'm first here? Of all, first of all, that joke David made. I mean, fucking right. throw David right under the bus. <laughs> but, but me, I was making a joke about myself. I used to do these Motivation Monday things where it was like very self-deprecating humor. And I was like, I apologize for everything I've done. I pictured myself. I envisioned myself in the future being here apologizing for something, you know? So that's what I was doing, kind of. <laughs> and I think you you took it as... Oh, they came on and made a vlog bit and they fucking roasted me and now I'm going to be the butt of a joke in a vlog. And then you came on the next day and put out like Jeff Wittek, the way you pronounce my name the right way. And you were like, yo, what's up? You want to come here and spar? Like you want to fucking <laughs> I, have beef? Really? Like straight up. Yeah. It was a hit piece. <laughs> and you were like, David, you too, you little rat. You want to fucking, I mean, maybe <laughs> that. Not say that. I didn't say that. You, didn't say, you, you, you little weasel, you little fucking <laughs> pussy. You want to talk shit on my set? And yeah, and then right when I saw that, I was like, oh shit, let me FaceTime this guy because first of all, it was a misunderstanding. We didn't come on and make the make you the butt of the joke. Although I probably have said things in the past because I have a very dark sense of humor. We know. We want to get into that, by we the know. way, because this isn't the first time you've had to apologize for a joke or or made someone uncomfortable. I did your barbershop show recently or yeah. semi recently. I'm you- a different person there though. Today I'm me. Today, today, look, let me let me look right at the camera and let you guys know that a lot of the things I say here today, maybe 25% of them will be lies. And it's <laughs> it's up to you to decide <laughs> to decipher what is truthful and what is not. George, I don't I don't know if you'll be able to tell anything. I just feel like you're gonna <laughs> hand me a pill and ask me to take a blue one or a red one. I feel like we're about to it's join a possibility. The it's, those glasses, man, are so reflective. Should we get in? Should we get into this? Are do they intimidating? Do you want it? No, they're not. Inti- I, they're intimidating because I could see myself. Okay. Do you well, want to keep I, them I could, on? I could remove them, but I, I prefer to. That's fine. Keep them on because I'm hiding a lot of secrets inside of me right cool. now. And you guys demanded that we film this today. <laughs> 
April 1st. Is this when we're releasing this? I, I, that's on you. Uh, so this is live. Right? Should, well, this is live right now. April, nah. first, this is April 6th. This is a live episode. Our first ever live we, episode. We shot this on March 12th. So we're a little, we're stacking up because I'm going to training camp. Okay. And and, and yeah, and we can release it whenever, whenever you please. Because I think we're going to time it with your documentary, which is coming out uh, probably yes. like now-ish. What is it about? No, well, so I have a documentary. I went through a, a near-death accident. I was... Um, now, see, the story kind of changed on, on on the entire doc. Initially, it was just about the accident, and then it's now changed to a life story. It's more of like a, a like a documentary on like everything. So, I just got back from New York. I filmed with my parents. I filmed in my old barber shop, my old friends I grew up with, and stuff like that. And it kind of explains everything how I got to this point and how I got so reckless and the reckless things I've done in the past. And the horrible things that have happened to me in my my youth, you know, I've gotten arrested several times. It's, you know, public information. You can look it up. Um, but how time I, in jail. Yeah, yeah. And I took those those the worst times of my life, and now that's a big part of my career. You know, it's a big part of my brand, and I use it to kind of help people, I guess, like other people who've gone through those situations. So I realized like, if I'm going to make this documentary, I'm going to make this, if I'm going to put this story out, I'm going to do it for that reason. Like if other people are going through this shit, if other people smashed up their face in an accident where maybe their parents are driving the car and it's not even their fault, you know, just people go through shit. And, you know, even rich, famous celebrities like myself too. I'm just kidding. I'm not rich. I lost all my money on the stock market. I try, I'm a horrible Stomps. day trader. Stomps. Yeah. I put all my fucking money in AMC and yeah. it bomb. Yeah, yeah, I same. bought it at 16. Wow. Yeah. yeah I, I, lost, lost, I lost a hefty amount of money on this. I lost $50,000. Stop day trading, dude. Yeah, I'm it's, done. It's tough. I need to get back to making videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely you do. Yeah. So it's a real piece. It's a real documentary with with a real, uh, uh, real uh, theme tied to it. Um, What's the climax? It, 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 does it have anything to do with uh, the accident that you referenced? Or, or is that is that the The, the accident the is a big part of it. The story is, it starts off, it gives a little backstory on me. Um, and when I was younger, my parents, uh, people I grew up with. And then um, I obviously get into drug deal and jail time. It's kind of like your book, Mike, like where you just spill it all. Yep. And I'm the type of guy to keep, you know, a, a character on a lot of the times. So this is, this is very new for me. Mm. That's why I'm taking my time with it. That's why I've been postponing two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. Every time you guys ask yeah, me to come Yeah, we've been trying on. for a long time. For yeah. a while. Yeah, we've been trying. And it's not that like I didn't want to come on or there's some cult thing with David that's going on where I'm not allowed to speak to other people or, you know, because I know like, you know, pe those those rumors have been spreading around. I've been dying to come on this thing. I've been dying to join you guys' crew. Hell yeah, bro, you're welcome. Yeah, yeah, you free, you want, free agent dude. right now. You guys are. You, are you a free we'll, agent? We'll right? suck you up, dude. You're down to fucking jump people and yeah. fight, oh, and I mean, something pops off. Yeah, hundred like, percent. We, I mean, we get way Jeff, nutty, man. I gotta ask you this question, man. K Casey came on the show, and I said we talked about him earlier. He wore shades the whole time. It makes my job difficult. It really does, dude. Is there is any, it intimidating? It's not intimidating. I don't get intimidated by much. It okay. just makes my job a little bit difficult. Is there any chance? And I and we've gone through this on my vlogs because you've been on my vlogs. You tried to wear shades. Yeah. Would it make you uncomfortable to take those shades off? Uh. And why? And why? Because this this parlays into the accident that okay. you, that you mentioned okay. earlier. Okay. So why don't you give them okay, some? Here, look. I'll, I'll look. Actually. Okay. You know Wait, you look you look like Jeff. You that. look great. Right. Okay, There's okay. literally look, nothing look, you that you look like I, yourself. But there may or may not be a, uh, an eye issue under there. And Are you I, protecting I, yourself I from can't, light? I can't reveal too much yet because I I don't know what day I'm going to be finished with this and put it out. Where is it being released? Uh, is it on, it's YouTube? on my channel? Yeah. Oh, on your channel. Okay. Okay. Oh, um, great, great. I mean, we're all over the place, but great Pokemon video, by the way. I don't want to come in here and just talk about the negative stuff that has gone on in our past between you and I, because I respect you a lot. You've grown a lot as a He's man. He's like, I, I really liked your Pokemon and, video. <laughs> yeah, you've grown a lot as a man and you're working hard and I, I appreciate your work ethic. And Thank that you. Pokemon video is fucking incredible. <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Th this is, there's something really interesting here under those glasses. I'm sensing some pain, some trauma. Well, yeah, I nearly died. I came an inch from death, and I came an inch from losing my eye. If I, the, I mean, which which do you mind elaborating? I I don't want to. I mean, I, I brought a clip to show you guys. Oh, could you want to send it to me? So I can, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's, let's do the clip. I just that, that's why I'm late actually because to, to show us or to show everyone watching. To show you everyone the world. Is yeah. this an exclusive? 
It's an exclusive. It's oh, like when you go on shit. Jimmy Fallon and, and you fucking play a piece of the movie. This is a big deal. I yeah. didn't know this. This, about, this is this great. Is All right, so this is uh, an impulsive exclusive uh, clip from your documentary mm -hmm. we're about to see here. So, right. I mean, I'll give you a little backstory. So this is um, when my retina detached and I was like, um, I, I didn't know if I was going to be able to keep my eye or not. And this is the first time I, I noticed that. I just had a surgery and I just had my eye opened up and they, I had a FaceTime with a doctor mm. because my doctor's in Utah. So um, this was me realizing I, that like shit was not good. Mm. crying on the internet damn that is a dark that's a dark piece mm -hmm. like just is that the vibe of the whole doc like no that kind of no, no, no 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 i would never make something that sad the <sighs> whole time but that's one of the the lowest points but i just wanted to show you where it goes because yeah i mean like when you i'll tell you a little about the moment that was going through my head right there um so like you know, all of us, we want to be, we're entertainers and comedians at that. And I just thought it was all over, you know, like they do surveys on people that are in accidents, like traumatic accidents. And they ask them if they were woken up from a horrible accident, would you rather be dead or blind? And most people choose just dead. Like they don't want to be blind. So for me to face like this shit is going to happen to me now. And I have another eye, you know, I'm, I'm good. I'll, I'll be all right. I can still see. So that's good. Um, but having like a glass eye or like a disability, it goes against everything with my asshole persona and my, my whole comedy style that I've acquired over my entire life. And it was just like, fuck, I can't do shit now. I'm not going to come back to YouTube. I'm not going to ever make videos again with, sorry. <laughs> That's why the fucking headphones. Um, here, you take them. Okay. Yeah, I was like, I'm, I was like, I'm done. This is it. At that moment, I, I, I had quit everything in my, in my head, like my life. It, I was either gonna be a one-eyed drug dealer again. I mean, <laughs> one drug dealer again, not one-eyed. But um, yeah, I was it just everything I had planned for in my life had changed at that moment. That's so. wild. It sucks to see someone who's so lively and funny and and full of life well i'm back now and this is my first time i actually want to include some of this in the in the doc sure if that's cool if you guys could give me some of it because of course this is my first time coming back and like I, i've accepted this i learned that it's moments like this that make you who you are i know it sounds cheesy but like sometimes opportunities can sometimes disguise themselves as something horrible Absolutely. so like the best opportunities in life usually like for instance, jail, when I got arrested, I was facing life. I thought I was done. I thought that was my life right there. But now that moment is what made everybody like relate to me when David put out my mug shot and all that stuff. So whatever it is with this shit, I'll find a way to make this cool. You know, <laughs> like I fucking one eye, no eye, the show goes on. I'm not, I'm <laughs> they, they say uh, there are two different drivers of like or catalysts for change or, or movement or uh, momentum in this life. One is inspiration and one is desperation. And some people are inspired by love and inspired by, you know, these fanciful events that pop up in their lives. Do you consider yourself to be somebody that's driven when your back is against the fucking wall and you have no other choice? Yeah, a little of both. Yeah, yeah, but definitely like I've hit rock bottom over and over and over again. And I've had so many life lessons, even fucking the, like last week, losing all my money on AMC, like, it's just another, um, I'm texting with David and he's like, it's just another lesson, I guess, you know, not to mess around in the stock market. I'm like, I don't need any more fucking life lessons, <laughs> but I think I'm good. I think I'm, I'm, I'm good on, on the lessons. No, now. no, like, no one is ever good on the lessons. No. They come, they come <laughs> There's smaller. always more to learn. <laughs> There's always ways to improve. Uh, yeah, I, I, I welcome any lesson in my life. Um, mm -hmm. and it, it obviously sucks when they have to come from, uh, your lowest lows like that 
Can I ask, and I don't know if you're willing to talk about this, but actually what happened or, or a synopsis? That's the one part I'm, I'm failing to to understand is, is we keep saying the accident, but what, did you hit, you hit your head on something? And when you say an inch from death, yeah. was, it, was it like a temple eye? So I, I, I don't want to get too into detail because obviously this will come out before mm. the, the doc is out. Okay. You know, like uh, I think I'll have like a trailer out by the time this episode comes out. So, um, yeah, it was just like, I smashed my face off a steel structure and steel like does not give at all. Yeah. So like Oof. I shattered my, my head and skull and face in nine places. So I have a whole bunch of metal plates in here now. But um, yeah, like I broke my hip. Um, like I was all messed. I was all banged up. But okay, he's saying tell him about your eye socket. He also so, said your eyes touching your brain. My eyes not touching my brain. You That's have an said. optic nerve, and there's it's very tricky. If something happens to the optic nerve, that's what connects your eye to your brain. If something happens to that. <sighs> then you don't ever get your vision back. It's like it's not like you plug it in and out and like do like surgery, like heart surgeries where they like reattach shit. Like once that's cut, it's done. Yeah, I'm so, I've cringed in, like so many times. Bro, started. I'm sorry to start it off like this. No. I was never like an eye guy. <laughs> fucking eyes. You know, I, even when kids in high school would flip their eyelids out, I'd be like, get out of here. Yeah. I don't want to see that. <laughs> but yeah, shit happens in life and, and you have to fucking deal with it. We started off dark here. No, it's, but, it's only up from here. But wait, I want to know. So your eye is... Not touching your brain, or no, no. My eyes work. My my eye works. My eye, eye works, <clears throat> and it's it, that's set in stone. Does yeah, it I have a, more surgeries coming up, <sighs> but I just got to deal with them, and it's risky. But you know, I've gambled my whole life, and the odds are even pretty on good. A, even on AMC, even on AMC. I, hopefully, it's not that bad. I talked to you right after that surgery, mm -hmm. right, probably just after that scene was filmed, mm -hmm. and uh, during the surgery, the retina. Can I talk about this? Had become detached from, yeah, almost detached. So yeah, from the rest after of the eye. that surgery, I thought I was going to be all good, and I even skydived in between. Like, why not? Right? Fuck it. I mean, <laughs> I, I was like, I saw you, you, you got your license. You, yeah, you're certified. You jump by yourself. Yeah. So I was doing that, and I was going to text you about that, but then like right after I got in the accident. Mm. But um, I so after the accident, I didn't want to let this turned me into a pussy like you know because sometimes like you, you know something happens like you, if you're a fighter and you get like knocked out like then like you're hesitant to fight yeah. however so I'm, i immediately like as soon as the doctor cleared me i went back to skydiving i was like fuck it i gotta jump out of a plane and just face my fears again and not let this shit set me back too much and i did that and then like i don't think that didn't have anything to do with the like the retina getting detached so since I broke my eye socket, I had a full orbital blowout. It's a common injury in like fighting. Yep. You get rocked, like your, your orbital breaks. Yep. But I had like a full, like, so the whole back of my eye socket shattered and they had to like put it all back together. So like going behind the eye to do surgery and stuff like that is tricky. But, um, so something went wrong when I did that and, uh, yeah, that's that. I didn't find out that the retina was detached until the stitches came out because your eye has to stay sh stitched shut for oh two God. weeks. Two weeks. So I had to stitch, stitch shut for shut two for? weeks, and then, uh, yeah, then I opened it. I took the stitches out myself, and when I opened it, I was like, "Holy shit, I can't move my eye! Like, what's <sighs> going on?" And I called the doctor, and he was like, "You need to get back here right away." The one, the one thing I've noticed too with it, because you know we've we've hung out a number of times since it's happened. Um, the one thing I've noticed is. There's a, at least from, in my eyes or in my opinion, there's a, a, a contrast between how other people see you with this new injury and how you see it on yourself. And when you take those shades off, a lot of us see Jeff Wittek and the eye is, you know, a little bit not as open as normal, whatever, whatever yeah, the little yeah. changes are. Yeah. But for you, go ahead, low blow me. Go ahead. No, th I'm not, not going in the Mike, opposite direction. Go ahead, Mike. Insult the no. disabled person. <laughs> Mike, cancel him. Get in here. Get fucking cancel this guy. Be number one co-host. Ah, uh, you're right. I, but it's okay. They all hate him in the comments. Right no. Now, so. He bullies me too, so don't worry about it. How do you, um, how, that difference between how others see it and how you see it, how do you deal with that that um, that idea that maybe you are looking at it a little bit more um, 
tactically well, it's, my, or it's, my, it's my vision that I, I is fucked up i have double vision so like that's what like so you what, actually see it differently than other people yeah see it. got it yeah what do you mean you have double vision like if i look over at you guys from here there's there's four people here well they're at no there actually are there's <laughs> four of us over here right now there are four people on this set, Jeff. No, no, on this side. On this side. Yes. Oh. <laughs> on this side. Yeah. No, now, I, but from this angle, like if I look with this eye, I see just one George. So I'm it's a lot. Got it, got it, yeah. got it. This is. I did take a little acid before I came here too, so uh, please don't to be tell expected. me things like that. Good, good. <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to downplay the significance of the injury, but why did the potential of losing one eye seem like the end of the world or your world anyways, as it was. I just f felt like at the time, you know, I, I don't know. I, I think of myself as like a comedian, like a comedian or a co comedic content creator, internet personality. And I just didn't think I could be funny when people are looking at me and the first thing they felt was a sympathy. You know, I feel bad for this guy. Like it just didn't match with me at the time in my head. These were my thoughts. Okay. Now, now I've, I've changed, you know, it's definitely, I have a different outlook on everything, but things take time. I was like, I was in a dark spot for a while and I'm not somebody to come on and like just be fake. And like, I, I tried to keep my channel going, like even with you and your episode, like I had to write a lot of jokes. I spent a long time writing those jokes. Oh, there were some great jokes, Jeff. <laughs> One of them. Got over 10 million views as a short on YouTube. Yeah. Of you asking me if I like, wait, what do I think that my girlfriend gets railed on camera? I mean, it was the only question that people really wanted to know how you felt about it. And I was like, you know what? I can't say this because it's so, it's so, it's such, it's such an aggressive question. I don't want to start off the interview like that. So let me, let me have one of the guys give it to me off a cue card. And then I'm just like, I didn't write this. But it also make... it also wasn't how you started off the episode because when you leaned over to start the episode, you dropped a heroin syringe next I to I do that much. on everyone, though. That's not just, that had nothing to do with you and your past. <laughs> but listen, here's the deal. that That is my type of humor. That's my type, like no holds barred, like mm -hmm. go a little bit too far type stuff. And I think because you have such a firm grasp on that dark humor, you, in 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 your darkness- after this accident, you found that the way out was to move right back to your comfort zone zone of self-deprecation. Mm -hmm. And you started talking about the, I'm uh, missing an eye. And then yeah. you have a pirate patch on because you're a pirate one day. Yeah. Like, is that one of the things that's helped you move through it? Just turning it into another weapon in your arsenal of humor? Yeah, absolutely. Mike, you're good, man. I used to think you were just a fucking clout chaser and you just hung out around here for money. But you're smart. You know, that that's absolutely well, hold what on, I Hold on. He's still both of those first two guys. <laughs> <laughs> but also smart. <laughs> but most importantly. No, 100%. <laughs> I mean, one of my favorite movies in, in like recent history is The Joker because his life was hell. He had it the worst, like the recent one, the Todd Phillips one. Yep. And until he started looking at everything like it was a joke, you know, then like, you know, shit popped off. He fucking raised hell. And that's like where I'm at now. Like. <laughs> Not saying that I'm going to raise hell and fucking do something insane and hurt people, but like, I just look at everything as it, it's a joke. And I always have, I just saw like, oh shit, he does this too, you know? But also during the day, um, like, you know, a good person and I, I try to help people fight crime at night. Right. I'm a vigil vigilante. <laughs> yeah. Go out and do that. <laughs> have you noticed uh, your confidence being affected at all by this with the, with the women specifically? Cause you're Jeff with you're the ladies man. No, I'm celibate, completely sober. Same. Well, no, do you have a same. choice now? Uh, what What do you mean? Oh, the eye doesn't bother girls, but I've I've been in such a dark place mentally that I don't want to bring a girl into this version of me. So I think I'll wait until I start dating again. You know, I don't want to like. I don't know. I am 31 years old now. I should be probably starting looking to have a kid soon or like actually have a serious relationship. You know the deal. No, I don't, you know? actually. I got flyouts coming in from Costa Rica. I don't know the fucking <laughs> deal, dog. Let me tell you this much. 36 is the new 18. Yeah, right. I'm, I agree. I'm, I'm serious with you, bro. You do yeah. whatever. Do whatever you want to fucking do. I got to get some. Fuck? I got to have a kid soon, man. <laughs> if, gotta... you want, if you want to, but like you said to yourself, dude, like if you look at life through the lens of fun, humor, comedy, because bro, like that's the thing. You said to yourself, 
you could, or, you know, had the sentiment of it at least. You could do all these things to set up your life perfectly. Mm -hmm. And all of a sudden some card gets pulled and you're back at square one again. AMC fucking dips. Mm. Or you hit a metal steel fucking beam with your noggin. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so like, I don't know. I guess I look at life through that lens all the time. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Say it with us. Blue Chew. Say it with us. Blue, Blue Chew. Chew. Blue Chew is making waves and bringing more confidence to the bedroom by offering chewable tablets that can help men get stronger and longer lasting erections. Blue Chew is a unique online service that de delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable form and at a fraction of the cost. Blue Chew's tablets help men achieve harder, stronger erections to combat all forms of ED. Blue Chew is an online prescription service, so no visits to the doctor's office. No awkward conversations and no waiting in line at the pharmacy. And it ships right to your door in a discreet package. Process is simple. Sign up at bluechew.com. Consult one of their licensed medical providers. And once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part, it's all done online. So if you could benefit from extra confidence when it's time to perform, visit bluechew.com for more details and important safety information. Here's a special deal for our listeners. Try Bluechew free when you use our promo code LOGAN. At checkout, just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com. Promo code Logan to receive your first month free. And we thank Blue Chew for sponsoring the podcast. Now, back to the program. I always have looked at life as a big joke. My, like my life is a comedy movie and, you know, um, I'm just releasing piece by piece of it on my YouTube channel. But like some of it is is curated. We'll plan it. We'll plan some stuff and mix it in with some real shit. And it's hard to decipher what's real and what's not. But um, I mean... Fuck it. People lie to me every day. That's that's it. Get used to it. That's how this town works. <laughs> Why'd you look at me when you said that? Because, uh, when I first met you, George, I, like we we met at the bottom. Like we were at, you know, we had I, no. I have a really funny with, story of uh, I remember. I, we could cut it if you don't want to talk about it. I came out of Trader Joe's and you were literally beating the fuck out of some dude. Yeah, cut that story. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just bleep it out. We'll bleep it out because that's funny. It's a yeah. great response. Wait, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Wait, surely the guy was trying to take some old lady's purse, right? And nah, Jeff so was a vigilante he, nah, that he mentioned. I mean, I don't give a fuck. I'll tell the story, whatever. <laughs> it, it's uh, There was this kid that... Um, so... I And when I lived in 16 Irvine, Vine, I was there. That was my trap house. I moved there before any, any Viners lived there. And I was just buying weed and mailing it back to New York. That was like... You know, it's, weed's fucking legal now. It's decriminalized. It's harmless. I wasn't, I wasn't killing people. You know, I was just fucking trying to make a little money for my old barber shops, and I always wanted to like somewhat in the back of my mind. I always saw like I always loved movies and I always wanted to act. And I met this kid. That that building was more like an actor building at the time. Mm -hmm. Like it was like aspiring actors living there, going to acting classes. So this kid took me to an acting class and. He, uh, I guess, like, I went to one stupid acting class. It was like a group acting class. You had to get up and just embarrass yourself. And I learned nothing from it but that. But just getting up and embarrassing yourself is, is fine, whatever. And, like, six months later, I blew up on Vine. And that kid was on drugs outside. And he was like, um, he, <laughs> I got I was sorry, it was so long ago. Um, so he was all fucked up outside. And he... He was like, uh, I walk over to him. I'm like, yo, what's up, man? Like, are, are you all right? Because he looked like out of it. And he was like, leave before I embarrass you or something. Like, <laughs> he was like, you don't feel like you owe me anything? Like, literally said this to me. You don't feel like you owe me anything? And I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> like, I'm, I got fucking St. Laurent boots on. Like, I'm all <laughs> slippery on Hollywood Boulevard. So I was like, give me a second. Like, I'm with my girl. Like, let me, like, I'll, I'll come back and talk to you. So I went upstairs and I put on, like, basketball shorts and running shoes and I came down and I just I was like I was like yo what's up so what did you want to talk about and he flung a kombucha bottle at me ooh, at my ooh, face those are hard those are glass fucking full kombucha bottle ooh. and it rocked me and I just saw red and like it was in a Trader Joe's bag so he just flung the whole bag at me like instantly right when I started walking over and I like I went up to block it but just the kombucha came in. <laughs> really. I, I thought it was like a bunch of bananas in the bag or something. You're like, I could just go like that and block the bag. But he, but the fucking thing rocked me. So then I just went over and I pummeled him. And I guess George was just walking out of Trader Joe's probably with bananas. With his Bible. Yo, I'm not kidding, dude. I am not. Like, you have no, because a lot of people are talk out here. Me and Logan talk about this yeah. all the time. When it comes down to squaring up, 
People ain't about it. No, we realized that with with Jeff when he Facetimed us. Mike and I were like, oh, "Yo, this is not like we don't. This ain't the dude." This ain't, well, I told him I was like, guy. "Yo, he's from he's from he's from New York. Like he he probably has fought a lot in his life. Like everybody gets in street fights out there. Like all your whole life. I'm sure yeah, I've fighting, fought right? a lot, a million but I've, fucking I've times. lost fights. I've I've taken hard beatings. But you but will I'm fight. And down. when we talked to you, when we talked to you, I remember we Facetimed you in the kitchen, and uh, you you were playing it very cool. Logan was still in a stage where he was like not feeling so great about it. So he was like, he like I would mute it and he'd be like, nah, fuck that shit. Like, yeah. and it was turning into <laughs> yeah. that thing. And I went to him and I'm like, listen, like here's the deal, Logan. You're my best friend. You really are. I love you. You put me on the map in the city. Like you've done a lot for me. You want to go to war with Wittek and whoever he's got with him. I'm here. Let's go fucking mm -hmm. knock on some doors, see what happens. But as your, as your big brother and advisor, I say we walk away from this one and just let it and let it die, which yeah. is what ended up happening, which I'm happy happened because now we didn't have to go back into the system. Yeah, yeah. Well, because there's no also like felonies. there's also like three of you, right? Like you have you have friends who also don't give a fuck who will ride or, like real ride or right. die motherfuckers. Not 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 in L.A. though. Besides right? that, besides that, like our problem wasn't even anything like it was a misunderstanding. Yeah, so like yeah. at, at the end of the day, like morally, I'm, uh, I feel like I'm a good person yeah. and I always try to do the right thing. And I, I felt like we didn't have to have this. Yeah. Between that's us. what you were saying. Yeah. That's and what you're saying. Yeah. So I was like, first of all, like, let's get to the bottom of what you're mad about. Mm. And then if we want to have problems, like we can, but I'm just letting you know that I don't care about jail. I don't care about getting beat up. And, you know, this is going to end really bad for the both of us. For all of us. That's, not, what not, yeah, not, that's exactly what he said. And I was like, and when I hear that, I'm like, if he had said go, I'm like, fuck it. This will be, this is going to be fun. Like, let's yeah. go do this. Yeah. But he, do, he doesn't want a, a, a felony. Yeah. No, or, no, no. Or I, I don't time. care. I have a bunch already. And I'm, I'm just saying like, it's either Logan, I come here and, or I fuck go to Warwick to find you or something. And you end up beating the shit and out of me. By the way, I'll be there. And I, end up, I'm, in, I'm in the hospital and then you're in jail or vice, vice versa. versa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, that's how it's going to play out. And it's over something so stupid. Still, so why the not dumbest just, shit. why not just talk about it? Like if you go back to the Biggie and Tupac beef, that was a misunderstanding too. And they got killed over that. Yeah. So, Sometimes you just got to talk about stuff. That's, you know? crazy. That's crazy. I'm happy we did. That's Dude, wild. Yeah, That's the first time you saw Jeff. Beating asses. Taking names. <laughs> it, it, it definitely was an experience. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, I, I remember I had my girlfriend wait upstairs at, at the time, my ex-girlfriend, and I came back upstairs with blood all over my shirt and a fucking <laughs> giant welt from this kombucha bottle. And she was like, what the fuck did you just do? And then I just showered up and we went out to dinner. Yeah, went back I to put work. the same boots back air, on. Dude. Yeah, yeah I've, known, I've known you for a while as well. Like a, a while, a long ass time. Yeah, you asked me one time to use my place for a vine with Nerf. Oh my yeah, dog. the dog. This oh, was, Nerfy. This was seven years ago that's, probably. That's crazy. Yeah, we go way back. We yeah. go way And you, you started cutting Jake's hair, right? Or I started cutting Jake's hair, yeah. Gotcha. You guys cool now? I mean, yeah, I have, I have, no, I have no problem with anybody. At this point, I got my own problems to deal with, you know? <laughs> I'm not worried about fucking... And I'm not looking to get in the ring anytime soon with any any of you guys, especially how I see how much work you've been putting in. Well, now it's know? it's just... And I got a fucking... I, my eye will no, pop yeah. out. I you could clear. go... You, we could fuck around. I can't do the ring. Because the ring has... Uh, the ring has rules. That's the one thing that I was never able to get on board with. They're like, yo, you can't do this. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. Like when I, if I, if I get in a fight, I like to be able to use any possible fucking <laughs> yeah. object weapon. Same, I mean, he's yeah. seen me, he's seen like when shit pops off, yeah. he'll look in my hand and there's, there's might be a brick in my hand. Like yeah. I'll look as soon as something like it happened at that college party right at that time. <laughs> yeah. He, I looked down with things were, things were getting pretty tight. There was and a lot it, of people, there was, it was, a lot. There's a lot of uncertainty. Like what, what was going to happen? I ended up getting my hat stolen. Oh, that, the, the girl spit on you? Yeah, yeah right like, before like that. Shit was getting real yeah. serious. And we were like heavily outnumbered. I'm like, oh boy, where's my big bro? And yeah. I turn this dude's got a fucking brick in his hand. I'm like, oh, whoa, nice. we yeah. got to get the I mean, bro, when it <laughs> comes down to groups like that, dude, like I'm going to protect myself however I have to. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck, dude. A hundred percent. Yeah, and, and luckily I grew up with, a, you know, a good crew that I just flew home and I met with and it felt so good just to meet with like normal people, you know, not saying you guys aren't normal, but like, you know, this town, people get a little caught up in this the stuff. Homies, yeah. The homies, the homies. Where on, uh, it, was, it was Staten Island, right? Yeah, yeah, Staten Island. So I saw my family. It was the first time seeing my parents after like, since the start of the pandemic. 
my, my they, they're like they don't really care too much about shit. My dad's a little paranoid with like being people being sick and stuff and catching stuff. He's always been like that ever since mm. I was a kid, like driving me to school. Hypochondriac. If I shit. fucking coughed in the car, he'd tell me to get out and take the bus. Oh no. <laughs> this is when I was like seven. So dude, is he been even high school. about the pandemic? No, he, he got vaccinated. They got they got their vaccines. So they were like, okay, it's cool. You can come home. And that was the first time. It was nice. Like I never thought I'd like miss my parents that much. I was always like trying to get the fuck away. Right. But it, it was cool to see, like, just talk to them in, in person and yeah, my whole family and stuff. It was nice. Did you ever see your life going the way that it has growing up? Um, Did you have a plan or kind of, things just kind of fell into place or out of place? Whichever one you think. I never, th like the whole hustle and shit like was just temporary. That was, that was like a stepping stone. Like cutting hair was to get me to meeting people. And that was just to maintain relationships. And then that, made it easy for me to make connections and but was that was, was that the goal was that the goal like i guess no I'm asking no, like no. What? The, the goal that I, I looked at like my mentors like the guys that owned barbershops back home that i worked at like that i grew up at i started cutting hair at 15 and i saw them just busting their asses in the barbershop and i was like i love cutting hair it's fun it's like a, a trade it's, it's creative i get to you know have fun with it but i can't see myself like fucking in a in a barbershop breaking my back for 14 hours a day and worrying about other barbers. Like that's the height is like you get to own a barbershop and then you have all this responsibility. I always thought of myself as more of like a, I, like I wanted to, I don't know, fucking make movies and shit. You do, saw more do, for do, yourself. Do something yeah, creative. Yeah. yeah I, I wanted to at least try, take a risk, take a shot at it, you know? And I, I got a little caught up in, in like everything else I was doing cause it was fast money. But I think everything happens for a reason. And I was put in that building with all you fucking Viners. I know. And you guys like just kind of like Mike's situation. Like, I don't, I don't even know how you guys met, but I feel like you just met him and he came off like a real guy and you were like, okay, I want to yep. keep this guy close to me. Yep. So is that what happened with you and David? That's what happened with me and, and Rudy at first. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And I was really close with Rudy. And then, um, we, even our, our girlfriends at the time were on the same show. Yep. Yep. So it was like a nice little click that we had, but I ended up splitting with my my ex and him and Maya are still together. So it was just like- You know, they met at this random house party that I had. I think because your girl brought her friend Maya and Rudy and Maya met in my house. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm proud. I'm proud. I'm proud. <laughs> I've been- Legend that What a small fucking world, Matchmaking huh? for some time now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that sucks though that you guys broke up. No, no, it's it's cool. Every, everything happens for a reason, so it's it's fine. That happened, and um, then I, at that time I was going through like a, like a little post breakup depression, and so was Todd with Corinna. So I met oh, uh, yeah. I met Todd, and Todd was like, I was like, holy shit, this guy's just like me. He's fucking, you know, like likes to work out. He likes to do like run and do running, and he uh. He, like we just started like hiking and venting to each other about our breakups and then we started hanging out and then david came along one time and he like got wind of my criminal past and he was like oh fuck this is so interesting like <laughs> I, and he just started filming everything i did and yeah you know like i guess that's how like the vlog stuff started but what's that, what's that relationship like now with david, with david? yeah like, um, still cool or talking or yeah i don't know we're, we're cool of course. I think, I think everyone's wondering like, yeah, that's where I was going with it. The entire vlog squad. It's it, cause COVID put a bit of a stick yeah. in the spokes, I think yeah, because of the gathering. Um, I always kind of did my own thing. You know, I, I came in late. Like I wasn't like an original vlog squad member. I, I like David had curated that whole crew before I even was around. I kind of just popped in at the end, but yeah, I took Jonah with me. And Jonah was my sidekick <laughs> on the barbershop show. Yo, he's great. Hilarious. I love that. You put kid. him in a box while I was while I was there inside a, a soundproof. Uh, oh yeah, airproof oh, yeah, that's box. right. Yeah, because he doesn't he doesn't know when to stop talking. He keeps cutting me off. You, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you made that joke. I'm yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, Didn't he try out for SNL? Yeah, I think he failed at, at that one. But that you surprises know, it's a tough, me. It's that a tough one. Yeah, yeah. That surprises me. You guys are such a great great group like 
Yeah, I wish I had friends like as, as good Dude, as you do, man. Look oh, at this. Oh. Everybody's so oh. happy here. This guy pans the camera. Look at that. I would have to verbally assault my my cameraman to tell him to move the camera. No, I'm joking. I, I love my people, but um, everybody's yeah. so happy. Yeah, there are there's a lot of smiling here. There's a lot of smiling. Um, but yeah, when you guys did that that roast, was it the roast of it was Jason? Uh, Jason Nash, yeah. That was so fun. I, I I love when you guys get together as a as a group and oh rendezvous. damn, thank you, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. We should do you. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of meat on that bone. <laughs> there's a lot of meat on that bone. But I'm not part of the vlog squad, so I don't know if it'd work. I like I. I, I mean, technically, am I even? You know, You're way more than me. I mean, you've been in vlog squad videos. I see you doing collaborations. That was nice of you to be in Todd's video that that you uh, oh, did the cameo. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Whenever. Whenever. Can I, mean, I ask you to do stuff and like? Can we get you on the barbershop one of these days? I'll trim up that mullet. It, need, it needs. To, it needs that to be. You should. Trimmed. You should do that. You should do that. He. Fuck. He like. I mean, I. You don't have. I'm gonna get. No, but there's but no yo, more roastable. I, I low blowed the shit out of Mike because he went I was crazy. like, I was like, who is this guy? Logan Paul's friend. <laughs> yes. I gotta fucking. I gotta go hard on him. You know. If I bring on you, I'll be respectful to the big stars. I'm I'm very respectful. <laughs> no, no, you will not. <laughs> yes, I will. Look at what he did to Casey Neistat. I went on and I I, I just fucking it's Casey I, Neistat, dude. bro. I, I sat, I fucking massaged him the whole time. It was he does, he does. He also and he also asked me like. He, he, before I came on, like I was aware that you were going to go nuts because you were like, also the reason I'm doing this man is because you, you like me don't give a fuck. Yeah, you don't care it's, whatsoever it's, it's about any shit yeah, at anyway. all. It's a, what is this? We're what on is a fucking this? spinning, spinning rock, rock that's in, in, the, in the universe yeah. with a fucking uh, a, fl a flaming ball that's just close enough to keep it, us alive. It, it, and if it flies off, we're all fucking, we freeze up and die. So what does it matter if it I make doesn't. a joke about your girlfriend getting railed on camera? <laughs> you know this, bro. You know this stuff. And you could do it back to me. You did it back to me. You fucking checked me me back more than anybody ever on that show <laughs> it was and great it, got, it, it was, was doing it was doing so good but it got age restricted immediately oh it did yeah youtube's been on on my ass i know lately. that i know that yeah. when you so but is the whole goal of the show to like punk the person who's getting their haircut no 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 the whole goal of the show is to have a to show the person in a, in a tenser environment like i'm sure here this is a tense environment you have these bright lights you have a whole, a whole crew filming you guys are very aggressive i mean Mike sort of stuff. <laughs> he goes Mike, look at stuff. kevin dude <laughs> well i kick, that kick, show kick back <laughs> that show is designed well i have cameramen like literally like everybody's holding a camera a lot uh, like yo he's got like a full production squad so like there will be like five six cameras you're fully you're fully lob mic'd up you're good, you're it's good. like a, it's the real deal and the thing that the thing that fucked with me on it was I would try to, I always, before I go on big shows, a big show, I try to watch a few episodes before and see how people okay. act, right? Yeah. And I noticed that the majority of people stayed themselves through the show. That's. But, but when I went on it, I was like, I also kind of want to play into some of this because it's going to elevate that, the, yeah. it to another level. So when I, when you made the signs up, I hopped out of the chair, <laughs> flipped out on yeah. you. Yeah. And what happened was people were like, oh, that's his real reaction. And it turned into this amazing clip that spread like wildfire. Yeah, yeah. No, that was perfect. You killed it. And that <laughs> gave a whole different aspect of the show that like I'm, I'm still learning it, you know? Yeah. Uh, like like I, I just got into making videos technically a couple of years ago. And I just did the barbershop thing because I knew it. You know, I knew I cut hair my whole it's life. A great, it was a great concept. Format. When it's you, when format. you, when you, with the very first video you put out, I was like, this is a sick format. Yeah. I hope he, I hope he, I hope he keeps this up. Thanks. When you got Cody Co on. Yeah. Screwed up a little. Why? Because. What, what happened? Because didn't you, didn't you tell Jake he was going to be there? Wasn't that like a setup? I took, so, um, when I had Cody Co on, I do like Cody Co. I think he's, uh, like, he's very funny. Yep. And, um, I just thought like the, at the time I was new to YouTube and I was watching those commentary videos where you just roast people from home and like where I'm from, like if you're talking shit about somebody, you're going to bump into them and you know, eventually somebody's going to either crack your fucking head open or, or whatever, you know? So I was just like curious what Cody would do if he <laughs> bumped into like somebody that he was roasting because his jokes are funny. He roasts the fuck out of people, but it's like, they're not your friends to roast. Like right. when we did the roast, we're roasting our friends and we all like agreed, like we're going to make some dark jokes, but you know, like we're all friends here at the end of the day. So when Cody did those videos, it was like kind of like, I mean, I didn't watch all of them. I should have did more research, but some of them, maybe the first ones I clicked on were a little mean spirited and not, don't get me wrong. I'm not sitting here saying Cody's completely wrong. Like you guys are angels. Because you guys deserve some of the stuff that you were getting. <laughs> All of it. For. Yeah. But 
I wanted to see w- how he would react in an environment where he bumped into one of these guys. Uh, so basically, like, I was prepared for, like, if Jake did do something, try something, like, I had guys there. That's why I had the whole crew there normally, it's just one on one. But, like, just to, like, break it up, you know, because I don't want to set anybody up to get there, to actually get beat down, you know. I don't think Cody would want to, like, even fight. I think he would just avoid confrontation yeah, yeah, completely. Sure. And Jake was uh, literally, we had the security guard be like, who's this guy downstairs shadow boxing in the garage? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I didn't know this because I'm doing the episode and I'm trying to orchestrate this stuff and when like text and like joke around and be funny with Cody and do a haircut. And I have all this shit going through my head. So when he finally, like when we finally get to the question where I'm like, who's your favorite YouTuber? Okay, let, let me backtrack a little bit because <laughs> initially it was supposed to be Lele Pons because he was going very hard on Lele at the time and the videos were very funny, but I, I knew that Lele was like, she was very upset about it. You know, mm. like it, it was really getting to her because mm. nobody was really, had, had dug into her. And like her life was just up, 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 up. And then like the Cody video started and then she started getting like a lot of like comments and stuff like that, which whatever you, you want to be a comedian, you sign up to make internet comedy videos. You're in this game. You need to be able to take jokes Absolutely. too. That's what the whole show is about. My yep. barbershop show is like, you, you want to make funny videos? You're technically a comedian. <laughs> so you need to take like em. dish them and take them. Yep. So I was going to have Lele show up last minute. Her management pulled the plug. They were like, no, she's not going anywhere near that guy. <laughs> I texted Jake. I was like, Jake, it'll be funny if you pop out. And like Jake took it as like, oh, this is a great opportunity to, for me to make a anti-cyberbullying campaign. <laughs> and I'm like, uh-uh. well, fuck, bro. Uh, you know, like, let's communicate a little bit. Like, <laughs> yeah, we're not yeah. on the same page because I want to make a funny bit out of it. Like, just maybe like he pops up and Cody's like scared for a sec. Yeah. And then like, we all joke around and laugh about it. And like the fucking jokes stop, you know, like Cody maybe like could ease up on Jake or maybe make a joke out of that situation. <laughs> but instead it was like, no, fuck you. You cyber bully kids. Don't shake my hand. Like Jake came in aggressive. Very tense. Like, Very like, tense. Bro, do it again. Like, can you just please come back in again <laughs> yeah. nicer? Like, come in again. And don't put me in this spot because now I look like a piece of shit. Set up. A set up artist. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Set up artist, which is the worst. Like, I look like a fucking two-faced motherfucker. <laughs> and I would never be trusted again. Like, you know. But... Yeah, that was a fuck up for me that I, I, I still regret to this day. Oh. I still I'm trying to make amends with Cody Cole, but I'm doing the rounds. I'm making I'm making amends with He you hasn't first. forgiven you? He has, but I think the internet like the drama channels and shit, like a lot of people had their opinion on it and they kind of drove people to cancel me and make it look like what I did was so horrible. Oh, and then that got in his head and he was like, you know what? Yeah, Jeff did kind of fuck me over because we hiked after we went like Cody and I went for a run together after just me and him like mm. we, we were having a great time and we were laughing about the whole situation and I, Cody initially didn't give a fuck and I think he was influenced to actually like have some resentment towards me after that by the internet and recently he I mean I don't know if I want to keep this a secret but recently he reached out and he said he he would be down to do a redo and make amends. Oh, that's you cool. should, you should, and okay. also that's like cool. wa- watching from the outside, like his style of video and his uh, formatting and his comedy has evolved and grown so much over the past couple mm-hmm. years, and like maybe that was a catalyst for him to stop. But because honestly, like, bro, this, we do all, you, I, I got a million subscribers from it. Cody got three million. Literally that from everyone talking right. about it. We wow. both we both got a lot of attention from it. I got more of the negative attention, but it for all of us, like whatever shit happens, like we need to kind of, you know, think outside the box here. If I just did a regular talk show, like at literally everyone else, you know. But I but I also I also like the idea of there being one or two, or you know, if you want to throw other people like banks or whoever into the mix, of people keeping this industry rooted in the fact that like i'ma see you somewhere dog. like don't like yo pete like you said troll your friends that you have permission to troll roast your homies but like this this like new world of like it being okay to go after people with the expectation that you're never gonna run into that motherfucker yeah it's not something that like i'm cool with i'm not cool with that like i there are people who have said shit about me that I'm still very interested in running into and seeing what yeah. that energy looks like. Yeah. 
Very fucking interested, yeah. bro. Because like that that idea that you could just go and just, just by the way, because I don't do that shit. I don't mm-hmm. go off on fucking people and, and say terrible, terrible, terrible shit. I do, shit. but I do it in person. But also you do it to people. That's pe- true. That's true. That's so true. That's very true. But also you do it to people that are like willing and on board yeah. and all that shit. Like there are people out there who, yo, quite honestly, t- to almost back Jake on it, and I'm not saying that Cody was doing it at the time, but there are people on the internet who are fucking bullying who are bullying mm-hmm. hardcore over and over and over and over again, certain people. And if we are supposed to be a society of people who are now standing up to bullies, like what's the first thing you're going to teach your kid, Jeff? It, if somebody, like if someone- I'm going to teach him a one too. That's it. That's <laughs> yeah. it. Like, yo, like, and, and by the way, to protect yourself, like if it gets physical, but at the same time, like, yo, like, I don't, I hate the idea of letting people just fucking attack someone over and over and over again without the idea that, yo, there may be a repercussion for this someday. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe that's just how I think about it. Well, maybe we're doing the Lord's work here. You know, God's work. Who'd have thought, who'd have thought it would be us? (laughs) Not me. Not me. (laughs) This episode is brought to you by Unleashed with the Dingo and Danny, a new podcast fueled by Monster Energy. This summer, professional skateboarder, Nija Houston. Shout out, Nija. Nija. We love you, Nija. We'll represent the U.S. in Tokyo for Skateboarding Olympics debut. But for Nija, the real skateboarding happens in the streets, pulling out videos, shredding with your friends, being a thrasher. That's what it's all about. Plus, he keeps a voodoo doll on his nightstand as a talisman, superstition, or secret keys to success. Here for yourself by tuning into episode one of the podcast as Nija breaks down raw street skating and living the life of the world world's most winning street skater hosted by sports personality the dingo and professional snowboarder danny cass unleashed is the alternative sports podcast you've been waiting for brought to you by monster energy back to the program i mean what do you think about that do you think like it's you should have like free reign to just fucking yes and no so no because obviously no bullying sucks and it sucks to be on the receiving end of it yeah i also think it depends who it is and what the situation is yeah yeah Accountability is big on both ends. Yeah. Accountability on the the end of the perceived bully saying, "Oh, this is like maybe I, maybe I did go a little too hard here." And what what was my intent? Was my intent to embarrass this person? Was my intent to offend them? Was my, my intent to make light of a situation that maybe they took them t- set themselves too seriously? We've seen like just you know some of these cyber bullies making fun of like TikTok stars who are a little cringe or some videos come off banter. Yeah, banter. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. This, which see, which which, which different? Well, which again. Having been on the receiving end of that, I can go. You know what? That's you're, funny. You're right. That's yeah. fucking funny. Like I'll I'll take the note and try not to be as cringe next time. Um, on the other end, that's probably it. Actually, if there's only one end, I guess. That. I guess we're the final. The fi- <laughs> but but to that point, I guess the question just becomes like, at what point does it go from banter or even or even criticism, which is fine, to targeted yeah, attack after yeah. attack? Because one time. Two uh, times, and people are like, that's funny. But when it becomes a uh, episodic journey that is just attack after attack on someone's character, at some point you have to ask yourself, like, yo, like, is this something you would want to link up and talk about in person? Yeah, like, like why, like, like, why did the baby call Jojo Siwa a bitch? All right, I don't like, understand this is, that that's, part Like, is that cyberbullying? I don't, bullying? I don't know, and honestly, this episode might come out a month from now, so it might be completely, you know? <laughs> no, they'll never forget. They'll never, I'll be, I'll, I'm working out in the gym, the baby song comes on, he goes, you a bitch, Jojo Siwa. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Why, why? I don't know anything about this. I apologize. I tried to stay off the news, so I said nothing topical that would be like I appreciate out, that. Out, outdated very smart. by the time I appreciate this that. came out. It, I know it's, it's, not. it's probably smart. That seems like it's etched forever in, in uh, hip hop history. <laughs> yeah. When, when the baby called Jojo Siwa, bitch, Jojo Siwa. Bitch. Wait, so he just did it for no reason? <laughs> we no don't one knows. really know. No one knows. But then he put out this uh, song, or right around the same time as that song, Masterpiece, which in my eyes is a great the baby song. So I kind of forgot about the Jojo but, Siwa shit. But, but also, I feel like the baby, I feel like the baby's just kind of here to have a good time, fuck around, be a troll yeah. sometimes, make it like, like he doesn't take himself too seriously, which is the other thing. So I, uh, I don't know. Like I know. I, I know Jojo can handle it. Jojo's been through the fucking mud. Like she's been on the receiving end of everything. Right. And she's literally grown up online, listening to what other people think of her, which is crazy. Woman's probably made a steal at this point. Yeah. yeah. And the baby, like him, I don't fuck like Jojo. She was taller than the baby. Yeah. <laughs> like at what point? And yeah. he's, the, he's the baby, you know, we're all just having fun here. <laughs> you a bitch. Jojo. See what? Like bitch, what? She said it twice. <laughs> 
You didn't Damn. see that? No, man. Oh, I, I love I've been, JoJo. I've been off. I've been off social media. Sorry. I wish I could get in on this. No. Nah. Do you, do you really, spend a lot of time uh, off? So like, kind of not scrolling. Or well, like, lately I've been I've been trying not to because especially when you're not posting, there's no reason to look at it. It's kind of just like depressing, you know. It is. Isn't so it? yeah, I took a little break. I didn't look at it at all. What I do set you set timers on my phone? Like when I have to post a brand deal, I would literally set like a like. I give myself 15 minutes on Instagram to get my stories uploaded. And then you could, you know, you could do that in your settings. So like for each app, mm, like yeah. I give myself you 10 minutes limits. on Twitter, 15 minutes on Instagram mm -hmm. and like TikTok. Maybe I give you 20, 20 for TikTok. <laughs> you, oh, you like, you like TikTok? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because yeah, of the curated scrolling. for you content. Like yeah. it, it knows what to serve you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so then how do you, videos. how do you, uh, what are you doing your time these days? That's what I was Well, ask. I've been working on a lot of stuff. And again, I don't know when this will come out, but I have, uh, I, I have, I'm doing my own podcast. Uh, I'm going to do a solo one. Uh, you guys want to see a video? I made a video for you. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. More videos, more exclusives. Air drop them over. Solos are tough. Solos are tough. tough. But, but also I thought they were near impossible for, for myself at least. Right. And you saw Logan's it. You, MacBook Pro. Yeah. MacBook Pro, you yeah. saw okay. Tim Dillon's pop up crushing it. Right. He's, and he sometimes has somebody there with him, but then I got on Twitch stream and started ranting on topics and realized that maybe it's not impossible. Oh yeah, you will pretty much do it already. Yeah, like you do it on, you, I do it on Wanna the Twitch stream and I'll talk and- It says waiting. Uh, maybe, maybe, maybe do iPhone three. Oh, I got it, hold on. Here we go. Yeah, 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 you do it pretty much. Maybe you gotta flip it sideways. I don't know. Here we go. Pulling the clip up. Oh God, I have to. Uh, I want to show you guys. Maverick, this, I mean, is look, that a Maverick man, bowl? I'm gonna have to rotate it. Rotate it. Yeah, sorry. I, I, how do I? How? Um, fuck. Or just play it sideways. I don't know, bro. We're boomers now. Fuck. Yeah. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just play it without the sound because no, no, I don't know. No, I got this. Just watch got it. This. Watch it with. Uh, flip, flip, flip. Rotate left. There you yeah. go. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. Just watch it without the sound because well, without the sound. I mean. All right. Uh, what are we watching again? The studio? You can put the sound on. I was kidding, just for a joke. Okay. It's yeah, from what I'm working on oh. here. Check this out. See, it's got a little 70s vibe. Oh, it's beautiful. I like that fucking race car bed. Fucking God damn. shit you guys got. You see this? I didn't want you Sound guys to hear this part. This, I, 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 I was supposed to play with the sound up. off. Well, and, uh, that's where my producers sit. This is Jeff's humor, Logan. You well, he's going back and forth. No, he's doing that to <laughs> fuck with you, and you don't. I'm, I feel <laughs> fucked with. I don't know. It looks, I, it looks you're, great. You're, I, you're, I, I, this is when I thought your set still looked like a race car bed. I used to say that it was too, too like. Oh, it, I love, did. I love the new set. Yeah, I love it. Thank you. Thank you. It, it did look like a race car bed. This yeah. set looks nice, man. Um. Jeff FM, it's three F's in a row. It's so dumb. It sounds terrible, but that's that's how I like to keep my shit low budget and shitty. And yeah, there you go. The Joker. Everything's a big fucking joke. So it doesn't matter. You know? And so you don't plan on going on a murderous rampage just to be clear? You're not gonna no, kill no, late no, night no, TV no, host. no, 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 no. I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to do. I, 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 this was my realization that I need to do good. I need to spread good. I need to use my experiences in life to to help people. I'm like reborn. Yeah. You know. I can no see. No more it. bullshit. No like. I mean that this is it. Just getting to detail now. You, 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 <laughs> He's like, you can turn it off. I gave, I, that's my that's my plant that I gave the mohawk to. I've been planting a lot of plants in my free time. If that's what you're, you did ask that question. Yeah, a lot of what cacti. To, a lot of cacti. There, I saw a cacti in the back of a small pickup truck. You, you fuck with you know uh, I, like succulents? Oh yeah, succulents. You, got, I, you have I, to. I'm going all out. I, I got a whole bunch of palm trees. I got. Uh, I mean, I don't even know the names of these things. I walk in and the, the plant people like they're kind of smug. And they'll look at you like, you know, you're a newbie. Like, you're fucking like, <laughs> yeah, relax. I'm just trying to get some cactuses plants. and stuff like that. I'm not trying to make this like my life be a botanist or something, but it is like therapeutic to plant some plants and like work on your house opposed to just look at Twitter all day or something like that, you know? You're, this is, this is the number one sign of uh, evolution. I mean, and bro, aging, my, my fucking house is going to be a rainforest at the end of the month. Yeah. So much botany going on in there. Where, yeah. where's the crib? And, it's uh the same. It's right up, right upstairs from oh, the barbershop. Oh, that's right, right. Do, I was gonna parlay into. Do you ever think about moving back to the East Coast? No, <laughs> nah, no. I was just there for a day, and it was enough. <laughs> you went back to your old high school. I went back to my old high school. I got immediately thrown out. I Why? went back. Why? Well, I, I, if I'm gonna go back there, like I got in trouble so much at that school. If I went back now and I acted like 
you know, like when David goes back to his school, everyone praises him. They're like, oh my God, you're, mm. you're back, you hero, like you're the best, mm -hmm. give me a Tesla. You know, like for me, I was I was hanging on by a thread. Like I barely graduated. It was Same only exam. because I gave the like teachers haircuts after school. Like, <laughs> Did that, you really? That's the only reason I made it out of high school. So uh, if I was going back, I was going back to terrorize it. So I walk in and I had no mask on. And that was the first red flag. They're like, sir, where's your mask? I was like, I'm... I'm I was like, ma'am, I have no ears. I had a hoodie on. And she was like, well, at first she had to process it. And I was like, I'm exempt. I'm a, I'm a Hollywood celebrity. I used to go here. I'm alumni. I'm here to meet with the dean. And she's like, sir, this is a vaccination site. You need to get the, like, you need to get out of here right now. And then I was like, is it cool if I just go to my old classroom quick? And I took off running and she grabbed her gun. And I was like, all right, this, oh, <laughs> this is, I've gone too far. Wow. Can you imagine yeah. if you got plugged by the, by the, what are they called? Re human resource officer or whatever they're called. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They that were all suck, after me. Dude. Yeah. And nobody gives a fuck there. That's the best part. Like I, I purposely go in there and I say I'm a Hollywood YouTube star just to because <laughs> I, yeah. I know the reaction I'm going to get like I went to this old mob deli they got busted for all this like racketeering and like all this mafia shit and I was filming like the documentary and they're all like bro don't fucking film me I don't want to be on camera and I'm like just do not film no matter what like what are they going to shoot us you know <laughs> so we, we just went back and just raised hell oh my and God. It was fun. Are you still working out as frequently as you did? You, I, I could, couldn't. That's a great question. You guys are good, man. You you were you were in great shape. Can you show yeah. your abs? Would you show your abs right you now? Do you still have abs? You? I he mean, definitely I, still has. Sitting fun. down. Oh, oh yeah, God. yeah. You got a little ridge. Do you want to stand? You want to stand up and really get a good flex in? No, because right, no problem. No you know, problem. I, I'm, I'm I've changed. Well, this workout thing. The workout thing. Yeah. I can't. I could not work out for six months, which oh, was tough because, because I shadowed the eye socket. It's surrounded by. I don't know how in detail you want me to go here, but your eye, like your organs are surrounded by like visceral fat, it's called. And um, I had fat atrophy because I blasted it so hard. So all the fat around my eye socket that like your eye kind of sits in, mm. it all like dissolved and I had to get new ones put in. So that's why I have that. That's why I have that scar there because they took what? fat from here to put it in my eye. So you, what you're saying is you have, as a result of the accident, you have even better abs because they took the, fat. They, I had, <laughs> what I the had, fuck, dude? They actually, <laughs> real lose. shit, you real shit, lose. bro, like real shit. They fucking made me eat fried chicken, ice cream. I know this sounds like, like Whoa, they, they, they fattened so you up. So they had to get me fatter. And it literally like, I kept this whole thing a secret. So like people are commenting like, oh, you fucked your eye up from plastic surgery and you're getting fat. And like, I, I never told anybody what I'm going through. So like, that's why another thing, like, I just don't want to look at my phone. I'll keep making these videos. Cause like, I know I have like, like a few devoted fans. Like I have this fandom that's fucking insane. They're like, they're, they make sick edits. Like they're creative as fuck. And like, I don't want to let them down, but also like fuck everyone else. Cause everyone's making their assumptions when they don't really know what's going on. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I can't work out, which is what I do for my mental health because I'm sober now. So I run, I do shit like that to like get those endorphins going yeah. and like deal with my stress. Yep. So that's taken from me. And I mean, yeah, so that fucking sucked. And also like somebody who cares about their like health and fitness and diet. And I got to like take shots of olive oil and eat like peanut butter and just like healthy fats because they say you got to feed the fat to grow the fat back wow. in my eye. So it was just like a complete like flip of my life. And now I'm planting plants and I'm finding new shit to do. And I, I've been working on. I like, I like new Jeff. No, he's great, yeah. dude. I liked old Jeff too, but it's just, it's, it, it'll just be interesting to see how you, how it all plays. Are you going to be able to work out again soon or are you working out now? Or yeah, what? I'm, I'm doing, I, I put a gym in my place. I'm just doing like pull-ups and push-ups. Like, are you, are you hanging out with people or are you generally alone? Yeah, I don't mean I, that in a sad no, way, but I, you no, know. I got my crew. I got, I got, I got my crew that like I work with, and I have my like New York friends, like my still my street friends that I hang out with, and those like yeah, I'm good. Like I have good people around me, so because you know you can always hit us up, and the gym's open here if you yeah. want to work out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I would love Come on, to. Bro. I would love to. That sounds great. Yeah, yeah, we're pretty action oriented too. I don't know if you need like motivation in that arena but yeah we definitely de i think everyone who comes around here is inspired to just to fucking kick ass man we're all just becoming best friends over yeah. here i wasn't planning yeah yeah, yeah 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 he's a free he said he was a free agent we're you know we'll swoop we'll swoop up. He is I also, mean, no, look look i look I, I love david i love that whole crew jason is is one of my favorite guys i've yeah, ever met in, yeah. in the world yeah, yeah. and 
you know, um, it's just they're on to the next chapter with the podcast, and I'm gonna do a podcast. Zane and Heath have their podcast. Yeah. Um, I still run with Todd every morning. You know, we do running every morning. Sure. So like that, I don't count as like a workout, and I should not be doing that because I'm burning off the fat. But fuck it, I need my mental health too. I'll, I'll have my eye be floating around a little bit. I need to like. You do you do uh, the whole circle at Runyon? Yeah. So we did it the other day for the first time. Uh, the shit is hard. The the one the one side in particular is exceptionally steep. Yeah. And I, I wasn't aware of how difficult. Are you jogging it? A little? Yeah, yeah, Are yeah. You trying not to stop? Yeah, we, I think we had to stop once. Yeah. Okay. It, that's that's really good. It's a, well, I'm in like I'm pretty good shape. I was yeah. I was expecting to like. Can fuck you say it up. how much you weigh right now? I'm 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 195. Oh my god, damn! And you're ripped too. Incl- inclines, man. That's you, why we did run. Yeah. Inclines are are the best. Yeah. Inclines are the best. I love. Uh, I like how a they are on my my joints and my knees. They're not as bad as yeah. Like, Coming I'm, down, it's running, bad. Running down sucks. But I go backwards and uh, when we're going down. But um, nice. You got good trainers around you, man. It sounds like you got good people. Are you? Yeah. Laughing? You know, who I'm working with a uh, Don, who I'm sure you know from way back. Oh in the, yeah, dude. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, he's he's uh he's running with me. He won day. he won David's sign. car the other day. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, won I did, I did see that. But that is a good sign when you see people in this town that have the same group of people around them for a long time. It's rare because like even George, yeah, I remember you and George met back at sixteen hundred Vine Days. A lot of people grow apart. But yeah, that that was uh that's it. That's all we got for today. Um that was a great podcast, man. Yeah, that was it. That's yeah, it. That's all we got, yeah. That's it. We do about an hour. A l- little over an hour. Hour 15. What, what are we at right now? And we got to reset before the next guest. We're shooting uh, 10 episodes this week. Jesus. Yeah, cause, yeah. before training camp. We're just stacking them all. We have one left. One what left. are you going to... What, so you're going to Puerto Rico? Going to Puerto Rico for training camp. Yep. Yeah, and then uh, pr- probably going to move down there as well. And I feel like that seclusion will be very good for me, especially under uh, going this, this boxing journey that yeah. I'll probably pr- pursue for another you know three to five years, maybe longer, seeing how it goes. But yeah. it just se- it just seems like... It makes sense for me. I liked it there. I felt, I felt, I felt very me. And I, when I came back to LA after visiting there, I, um, for the first time in my life, I was, I was, I was disappointed that I was coming to LA, which I, I was notable for me. That's um, why. yeah, I, I kind of had that feeling too with some stuff. I, I, I can relate. The yep. barbershop is, is over too, by the way. What? It's ended. We ripped it down. What are you talking the sh- about? The set or the show is. It's, it's done. done. It's done. The the show's done temporarily. I don't know if I'll bring it back, but yeah, yeah. Uh, I had a little falling out with Jonah. I'll Wait, show you guys. Really? Yeah. This is. I mean, I, if you guys want to wrap it up, we can wrap it up. But I, I mean, I, I was going to talk about more stuff. Well, if you have a, something of major There's concern, some, let's talk about talk some about juice. It. Let's yeah. talk about some juice. Yeah. But, Whoa. Yeah, man. The barbershop is no more. I forgot to tell you that. I left that part out. That's uh. Seems like a pretty. It's crazy. Hard, hard to leave out of the uh, interview, don't you think, uh, Wittick? Here's a picture. I'm going to airdrop it to you, Logan. Okay. A lot of exclusives. All right, here we go. I'm getting it. It's coming in hot. And it's downloaded. I'm opening it up now. Here we go. Okay, here's Jeff. Here's Jeff with a sledgehammer. That's it. That's it's the not, that's the barbershop? Well, it's ripped down. Yeah. That was the barbershop. Yeah, that was the barbershop. It had to get ripped down because Jonah wanted me out. He he was done. He and like like we said with the privacy thing, you know, we're getting trolled. No, we're getting tr- we're getting trolled. I mean, how can I troll that? You think I'm you think I ripped that down? Wittick, just- I've seen what you'll go through to fucking troll some. You're fucking trolling us, bro. You figured, yo, you know what? I've trolled these kids in the past. It almost led us to hate each other and it's fight. Work. Now we're gonna. Tr- I'm gonna troll them again. We're so not that buying we can it. Buy, we can get what do you another think I'm redesigning? You think I'm buying I'm this? I'm putting new bricks up. It's not even you. <laughs> Bro, you think I'm gonna put new? I'm sad because all the nostalgia is gone. <laughs> but I even... need a change. I need a new show, and that's Jeff FM. That that I'm gonna do Jeff <laughs> FM now. Can you I'm be sick. honest for a second? Are you actually? Bro, is the barbershop, I'm, I'm, is the barbershop I'm, stopping? I'm, Jeff, is the barbershop I'm, I'm, stopping? I'm sick of cutting hair during interviews. This yeah. was so nice being yeah. able to just talk to you guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Having to do a haircut throughout the interview is tough. Yep. And I I do love. The, the barbershop show. It's something original that I, I somehow accidentally created. And Casey Neistat says it's dope, but this had to end here. I will try to figure something out. I'm working on other stuff. I'm not going to give up. I'm not going to quit. What about Jonah? Me and Jonah? Yeah. I mean, fuck him. <laughs> <laughs> 
let him eat himself to death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really? Something true. happened? <laughs> I mean, the, la the last time we were seen together on camera, I gave him a check for $10,000 for losing the most weight in a weight loss competition that I do a show to help people lose weight. Right. Right. Yeah, 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 there's yeah. some fat shaming jokes yeah. in the show, but, you know, at the end of the day, it's to help people, motivate them. He won, but he cheated. He did a, a, a boxer's weight cut. Oh, he did. He, he, did uh, he lost, like, just, it was just water weight. Yeah. He sat in the sauna. Yeah. He won uh. the money and then he ripped the check in half. He gave half of it away, made himself look good, and then told me to go fuck myself after. <laughs> He, I don't know. I, I swear. <laughs> on camera, he told me, I love you. And then afterwards, we talked and he said, hey, look, like, I don't fuck I, I with just, you. I can't have all of your employees coming in my house anymore at random times in the night to shoot stuff. I need privacy. And I need you to, like, like, I don't care. I'll pay the whole rent. And I was like, you fuck me when I'm at rock bottom. This is what you do. You kick me when I'm down. Now I'm going to fuck, fuck you. you. I'm going to fuck you back. I'm going to go <laughs> impulsive and tell everybody how much of a fucking piece of shit you oh are. Maybe we'll be friends by the time this comes back out. But as of now, that's where we're at. Fuck him. He's dead to me. Yeah. Wow. I'm happy that you. I don't know, man. 100% <laughs> true. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 100% true. All right. Go, cool. poor sure. Joan. Oh, I guess not. What was the intent with ripping the check in half and giving half of it away? Wouldn't that just void the entire... He didn't actually give half the money away. He gave half of his the, the check. avoidable check. That's what I'm saying. Like, the checks are fake. They're just Hollywood stuff. I don't expect you to understand this. <laughs> <laughs> new guy here from New York, Logan. You know? I'm not from yeah. New York. Yeah, whatever. From Connecticut. Uh, yeah, the checks are fake. I, I, I actually paid them in cash. Um, afterwards, but he gave, he did give half the money, but then he did tell me to go fuck myself. And the, you know, well, my eye was hanging out and I was at rock bottom. He fucking gave me the boot. So, you know what? I wish him well. Something happens to him along the way. You know, I'm, I'm going my own way. I'm, I'm, I'm gone. I'm taking off. Maybe I'll move to Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is hard. That's hard to spell. That, it's you hard know, to if spell. you kill somebody and flee to Puerto the, Rico, they could still get you, right? Yeah, that's it's still part of the country. Would right? you ever yeah. consider moving into a late, uh, uh, an over thirties content house? It's a big house, a big oh. fucking house, and there's one extra room. We need one more oh, creator that'd be great. that fits in with it with the right crack wow. crowd. No, I'm uh, no, 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 no. Of course, it. Forget I mean, it. Even happens. It was, there is no. He's not actually house. doing. Doesn't it. even exist. I'm not even a it's person. A joke. It's a great he idea. Maybe take Jonah. He would love it. He needs a place to stay too because <laughs> he's getting the boot. He'd be, he'd be great, Mike. Wait, you, you're. I mean, look, I'm a fair guy. I'm a very fair guy. I, I think things through. I, I, I don't react like I used to, but um, because he fucked me, I will make his life a living hell now. So, yeah, Jonah and I are at war. Take him to your fucking content house and let him get abused in there. Let him be the punching bag over there. <laughs> I don't want him anymore. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Everything I said on the show is fake. <laughs> no, no. The the shop's really done. The shop's really done. That's so wild. But I've been working on some stuff. I have a a a new business that I've always wanted to do since I was a kid, and I'm going to talk about that soon. Uh, I'll tell you off. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Fire. So that, that's cool. So <laughs> that seems that that's. I thought you. Were, I thought you were going to say that you were advising on stock picks or something like that. <laughs> if you can invest in this, but no, I am done investing in stuff. Uh, uh ah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good luck. Maybe I'll move to Puerto Rico with Logan. That'd be cool. Content house for me. No, I'm. Uh, I'm uh, Man, we, privacy, we, you we appreciate you, there. Jeff. We appreciate you, Jeff Wittick. Thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you guys can follow him on Instagram at Jeff. Just Jeff. Just and I've been starting to beef with Jeff Bezos. I've been trying to do, you know how you guys do the fighting troll and stuff? You're calling him out. I'm calling him out. He wants because, the handle. No, he doesn't want it, but I'm trying to make him think he wants it. Cool. <laughs> so I, 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 I put in my bio, go fuck yourself, Jeff Bezos, you bald fuck. It's not for sale. Hell yeah. And that's in my bio. So yeah. you know people get notified when, so, when you get added to a bio or a verified account. You think he saw it? So uh, he had to. If like Logan adds me to his bio and he's verified, I get a notification on my phone. So I'm trying to I'm trying to get him to be like, all right, is that fine, true? All right, yeah, it is. It is. That's true. That's a yeah. good way to get people's attention. Girls' attention yeah. and shit. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm like, all right, all right, Jeff. Sheesh. You know, let's you, go Jeff to war. Bezos. Yeah. You know, Bezos. you want to give me a million dollars for it? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> I can see him and Jonah teaming up. <laughs>
All right. <laughs> yeah. I guess <laughs> I, I'll take that into consideration. <laughs> Guys, uh, thank you for watching this episode. Hit that subscribe button. We love you. Impulsive is a, it's our show. And we'll, there's more of them coming. We'll see you next time. Bye.